Hey guys, it's KTV here, and it's an unboxing video. Hooray, our favourite. So what are we looking at today? So here we have the Martindale Electric Parcel Pack Tester. This is the HPAT 400, I believe. It's not the rechargeable model. I don't need rechargeable. Yep, it's HPAT 400. And this is a pack tester for testing electrical equipment. As you know, KTV Crazers, I make a lot of electrical equipment, so I thought the investment into this would be a would be a brilliant idea because of obviously there's a lot of products that we know they're safe, they're wired up the correct fuse, but are they, you know, in terms of insulation resistance and all all them fancy readings. So Mindale Electric is one of the most trusted brands in electrical safety testing. And this is a bit Mike Dow Electric is known for providing innovative and time saving electrical safe test solutions to electricians and service professionals and has an outstanding reputation for customer service and support. Mike Dow Electric, trusted by professionals. There's the side of it. Remember, this is HPAC 400, and there's the front of it. Hopefully, we should get a pass on everything, but I do want to kind of get a fail to see. It's opening up the box. You can tell it's a really premium piece of kit. Wow. Make sure there's no personal information on this. Hang on. Right, okay. This to fit is fair from the oh right, okay. This is from the Martindale Electric Company. These are tests that this is verification that it's okay. Let's look at the test. Wow, this is premium piece of kit. This is ooh. A little bit too premium to what I've had before. Wow, where are we going first? Right, there's the H pat. So, as we can see, it's quite a heavy device, it's quite a chunky. Oh, yeah, getting batteries into it is going to require is going to require six AA and they're alkalines. And there's an IEC lead for the testing of extension leads and a test probe port for testing of that. There is some protective film over that which can be real crazy they get yummy silica gel seriously don't eat this stuff but it is handy for keeping moisture out of things so as we can see it's a lovely case they've provided and I believe you get a power plug yep so here's all the good stuff you get a small this is for going around testing extension needs this is just a short little IEC lead, very short indeed. And it has a 3 amp fuse in I believe, tow well, so that's alright, you don't want to really cut the mildly plug off this, I know they're not the best, but in terms of Martindale Electric, I, will, I wouldn't think twice to trust them. So you've got a carry handle, you've got your, your earthen test probe, which is for probing the metal device e.g. something like a toaster so we take this out very gently we can undo the test probe the way they've packaged this is premium and it's one of them 5mm banana plugs and it goes into it like so. That actually. Oh, there you go. There you go. Wrong way. Right. Okay. So it goes into it like that. And this one plugs into the tester. However, it's got no batteries in at the moment, so we need to. And it's got a protective layer on the screen actually needs to come off somehow yeah there's something over the screen there we'll leave it on for now so you've got your your plug for putting in your device you wish to pat test and you tell it it's a class one appliance class two class twos class one's the earth and class two's the double insulated stuff and the lead would be for testing extension leads and etc so let's have a look at the other packaging the instruction manual and i have before i say i have been testing in college i've been doing this in college so i do 
have an idea of what I'm doing. I've asked my electrical teacher about it as well and he seems to be pretty happy. The batteries they're providing are made by a company called NX Power which will be okay for now but you know they did say there'd be Martindale Electric's own ones but yeah we'll have a look we'll see what batteries we can get because ideally you want something I mean I'm sure Martindale Electric wouldn't screw up on things like that so to lock it and unlock you have a screwdriver you have your six AA batteries in there so we we'll just use these for now. NX power they seem to be a little bit on a NX power tech alkaline. Mm. Yeah, I mean it is Martindale Electric. I'll seem a bit crunchy in there actually however I probably will change these out for more premium ones when I get my hands on them because they're obviously quite it's quite an important device doing what it's doing there you go that's locked now so we have the machine turns on and we have select test so it shows select test. So if I was to put in an extension, we should have a backlight as well. There we go. That's more. So as we can see, it says select test. I'm not going to select everything, but I do know the basis of how to pat test an extension lead. However, finding one is a little bit of a. There we go. So we have a six gang Tifco. So the way we would do it is you plug your your I see it goes in there, which really shows your cheapnesses, and we do for this one because it's an extension we will click lead, so lead, and then it tests. It's past the earth. The insulation on the other hand has passed. And the wiring of the device has passed. So as you can see, this extension lead is safe for use in terms of it's required, it's safe. So there you go. It's safe, it's passed, and it's ready for use. And what you would do as well, you would test just as a precaution. I'm just going to do a couple just for demonstration. However, you would test the other leads as well, the other ports. The machine is clicking away. Pass. Pass. And the wiring is a pass. I hope so. Yep. So, therefore, this shows you that it's a pass for this device meaning that extension lead is safe for use and it's required so yeah that just about wraps up the review of the martindale electric pat tester hope you enjoyed this video and bye guys